to ask Thomas to come up and uh, be our last reader this hey, evening. Thomas. Yeah, it's a big uh, challenge to stand here now after this wonderful speakers, writers, poets been here. The challenge is my first name, so I take that. Um, I promise these wonderful guys from Ireland and Wales to do this this evening. Um, I'm not a poet. I never read poetry in all my life. But um, I, as I said, I promise, and I'll be a writer. I mean, Carl said to me last Friday, "Can you read something?" I said, "No." <laughs> but um, I think we all are poets in some way. Some way. It's coming, lines, words, landing in our heads, flowing away. Sometimes we, we stay for a while before we flow away. But we, if we don't take care of it, it um, yeah, just flow away. Before I meet these guys from Ireland and um, Wales, I not take care of these words. But now I give my first try. Uh, <coughs> I am um, side by side by my horsework, stunt work. I also been a journalist and I write for stories, fiction, for newspapers, mostly work with television. But um, uh, and I have written one theater script in my life. It was a coincidence, it was a friend of mine who is director and also an actor who asked me to um, uh, we have a problem, copy, uh, copyright problem with a, with a script. It, it was a script, one hour for um, <coughs> school tour for 15, 16 students, 16, 15, 15, 16 years old students. Um, she will tour around and um, it was delay and everything was problem and he asked me you you write can you write a theater script yeah I'm a guy I often say yes first and think later so I, okay I do it yeah that's perfect premiere three weeks okay that means you got to have this script in less than one week to rehearse in two weeks. Yeah, you got to, you got the picture. Yeah. And when we end the conversation, I was thinking, what in hell am I doing? But I, I write this script and um, I deliver to uh, my friend, director, producer, who read it and um, come back to me and said, it's good, it's very good. And I was thinking again, yeah, of course it's good, what fucking choice do you have with two weeks left of a premiere? <laughs> but we set it up and um, yeah, it was going on tour, schools. And uh, I, I read the uh, review. I never see this uh, theater performance myself because I was so occupied by other jobs. But I read the uh, reviews, newspaper write about it, and it was, yeah, positive, splendid. And I think, okay. Why I tell you this is because it was the first step on a new stage for me to write this script. This evening, I take the first step on a new stage in the life of poetry. I don't call these lines I'm going to read for you poetry, I call it lines. I do it for my friends, my new friends, Wells, Nara. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. If challenge is my first name, is forgot my last name. <clears throat> so, I am, um, of course, forgot the piece of paper that I have ah. brought to me 
down on. Um, but even to make it worse, I will try it in English anyway. This line is coming um, from a meeting. A woman, of course. <laughs> um, so long, long time ago. But it's been stuck in my head, and when I meet these guys, as I said, this come back. I wrote it down. I've got a piece of paper. I try it anyway. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there for long, and it's it was just giving birth. This meeting was just giving birth to this lines, not poetry, lines. When I look in your eyes. The world stops, the real world, of conflicts, violence, sadness, pain, and demands. A new world is opening, a world of love, understanding, friendship, <coughs> and harmony, and lustful longing. But sometimes I have to leave your eyes and then I'm back in the real world again. But now I know that I always can return to the new world just by looking in your eyes. Thank you. Wow.